So y'all know my mom is the owner of Sweetie Season Food Truck and since Keith Lee came and visited, her entire world has been changed. She gets non-stop harassment, phone calls, day and night, death threats, all that stuff. But this latest stunt resulted in her attempting to take her own life last week. So long story short, she sends an email to Keith Lee and she kind of lets him know what happened since his visit. Two days later, she gets a message saying, you know, this is on behalf of Keith Lee and his family. We want to come out and pay her food truck for the visit. Um, you know, sorry about what happened last time. And let's, you know, bring all the parties together and come up with another resolution. My mom was on board. She's willing to do anything to stop, you know, all of the harassment and stuff. I'm like, okay, great. You know, I'll do whatever you need me to do. Just let me know. So she was in contact with you know, Keith Lee the entire time, planning everything. Um, the only thing that he asked her to pay for was a barber. He was like, if you uh, pay the deposit for the barber, um, it's only $300. You know, I'll in return pay for food for three hours free for everybody in the community. So she's like, cool. So yesterday was the day of the re-grand opening. And you know, she gave away free food for three hours, and you know, we're looking up after, you know, every uh, a couple hours go by, we're like, hey, the barber hasn't shown up for us, you know? I'm like, what time did Keith Lee say he was getting here? She was like, well, he said him and his team will get here around 2.45. I'm like, what's well, 3.45? I'm like, why is he late? Um, she's like, I don't know, she's trying to contact him. Um, he's like, you know, um, the plane just landed an hour ago, everybody, we're all together, we'll be there. So we're still giving out free food and, you know, just waiting. Y'all, Keith Lee never showed up. The barber never showed up. It was all a scam. She lost thousands of dollars. She had to pay for the lot where she's at. She lost all the food. She gave away all the money. She spent on all the food that has to probably get thrown out. The money she spent finding a different place in Dallas, because mind you, her lease was up. She was in the middle of the world across the country. So she literally changed her whole life just for this year. So I, I get why she was so distraught, but she seemed fine last night when Left. She didn't seem like she was too sad. She seemed more bummed out. Like, it's like, man. And I went home. I should have stayed. But I went home. I was tired. And I wake up to the money was called. I'm not ready to lose my mom. I just lost my grandparents. I lost my little brother. I lost my dad. I don't got a lot of people left. I cannot lose my mom. I don't ask for nothing. I don't I don't battle on here because I don't even like my fans buying nothing. I don't want no money from nobody. I want y'all to leave my mom. Y'all can bother me. Y'all can harass me. Come to my comment section. Do it. Just leave my mom alone. She literally cannot take no more. She can't. Leave my mother alone, please. All right, guys, we're back with a quick reaction video. So if you guys remember back in February, uh, Keith Lee had went down to Texas and he had visited a food truck called, I think it was called Sweetly Season. You know, it was, a, it's a, um, you know, a black owned food truck. And, you know, just like with any, any business that's starting up right now, you know, sometimes times are hard, you know, the cost of food, cost of everything is going up. So, they reached out to Keith Lee to see, you know, hey, can you come down and, and uh, you know, give us some type of help. So I think it was the son that had reached out to Keith Lee and uh, he agreed to come down there or whatever. Um, he came on down there, did his thing, you know, the you know, the typical Keith Lee thing, reviewed the food, had a good time, gave a, a decent review and left the mom, the owner of Sweetly Season, a four thousand dollar tip. And that was to be dispersed between, uh, I think, the workers, 
some money for her to put in her pocket. Then also, I think there was a barber and maybe a beautician or something that was there that was cutting hair. And then the beautician that was doing hair, something in that nature. But shortly after Keith Lee had left, word had spread around or got out that the mom actually kept the money uh, for herself and didn't distribute that to anyone other than her own pockets. One of the workers went to, I think, TikTok, and she said this about the business. Hey, y'all, check this out. Keith Lee is not the person to blame for this. When this man walked up to that window and we greeted him, and he said he was going to give my brother $1,000, give me 1000 and tip the owner 2000 on top of him paying tax, which has nothing to do with what's going on, and then left another $886 on top of that. He was not the person to say, oh, I'm just going to give it all to the food truck. I was the one who said, I'm going to just charge you right here because I thought that this lady would have the decency, the humanity, the morality to say, okay, I'm going to just give y'all the money that this man said that y'all were allotted. Granted, we weren't even 45 minutes into whatever mini rush was going on after Keith Lee left. And she looked me in my face and said, you know, it's going to take about a day or two for that money to clear. I was like, yes, ma'am. I know how Square works. My brother was gone, y'all. Y'all heard me tell Keith Lee, my brother went to go pick up my baby brother from school because I was dedicating my time. I neglected my responsibilities to go and help my friend's mom. So if anything, it was my fault for believing and trusting that this lady was going to do right by what Keith Lee said. He did what he was supposed to do. He did what he came to do. We asked him to come out. He came out. He said the food was good. But this is not Keith Lee's fault. And I'm not going to sit here and keep reading comments about y'all saying he should have did this. He should have did that. If anything, with everything that's going on, I wish the man would have stayed away. I wish I would have stayed at home in my bed. I wish I would have declined the offer to come out and help. Let's be honest. I wish I would have said bump that. Let me take my brother to go and meet Jonathan so that he could potentially get a spot in the shop to further his career in haircutting. That's what I wish I should have done. But no, you can't do black people. You can't do right. You get what I'm saying? I gave my friend ample time to make this right. I told him ample times. Your mama got to five o'clock to do right by my brother. I don't care if that means she calls and say, hey, I'm going to give you your money. I just can't give it today. Or, hey, I'm going to give you $500. I'm going to give you $100. Anything. You had the opportunity to make this right because out of your words, Trey, you said, my mama don't even understand. Your platform is bigger than mine. Just because the numbers don't look like it right now, baby, I got the weight of the world behind me. You know what I'm saying? So this does not fall on Keith Lee. This, this does not fall on what he did and him as a human being, him as a soul person who came to use his talent, his gift, his presence, all of that to help somebody that's full of greed. You get what I'm saying? No, no. And it won't stop. Dookie dick up until you make this shit right. I'm on y'all head. I'm on y'all head. Stop blaming Keith Lee. And she said that whatever. And basically to sum it up saying like, Hey, I didn't receive any of this. Her brother came from out of town to cut hair. He didn't receive the thousand dollars that was promised to him. She said, you know what? You know, I, I'm not worried about me getting paid, but at least pay my brother, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it just started a whole shit storm, a whole storm of issues that uh, I guess since has transpired since then. So I think it's gotten so bad now in the four or five months that has passed that the mother of Sweetly Season, according to her son, attempted to take her own life. Uh, I guess it was based off that she was getting a whole bunch of bad reviews getting uh death threats you know how people are on social media they go to the complete extreme when it's you know when it's some out of, when they feel like something's out of pocket or something's not right so you can just imagine so you can just imagine what she was receiving as far as hate mail or, or whatever was coming her way so because of that the business completely shut down and then the son reached out to keith lee again and check this video out so on friday she sent keith lee an email on Sunday night, she got this message. It said, hello, on behalf of Keith Lee and the family, we would like to offer a new visit to your food truck. This could help rebuild your food truck. 
We also would like to bring the parties of the last incident together to rectify the issue in hopes to change the narrative. We should stick together as black people. My mom said, I will do anything. They respond first, let's say today, I'll actually stay for a few hours, but this needs to be handled with care. We don't want everybody posting videos before I'm there to protect my family. We can start live streaming once the event is started to protect my family. I don't want advanced promotion, meaning I don't want people to know I'm coming. Is that okay? What day works for you? And my mom responds, I promise no one will know. And I have a new location downtown Garland. I will have to call tomorrow to see if I can still get the spot. They respond, okay, let's confirm a date and time. Next, I want to bring in a barber and hairstylist, and I will foot the bill to give out free food for at least three hours. Can you contribute towards paying the barber, and I will pay for the food for three hours and the hairstylist. I got a barber and a hairstylist in mind. I just want to know, can you at least contribute towards paying the barber? He's a pretty reasonable guy. He does events for $700. She responds, I can pay after the event. Will that be fine? Because I honestly have nothing right now. And he was like, yes, perfectly. That will work. So then my mom says, I should be texting you tomorrow. And thank you so much for the opportunity. I promise I won't let you down. So I believe in you. Good night. They respond with more details. And then he sends over the barber's information. So the barber wasn't really responding. So she contacted him to let him know, like, you know, like, what you want me to do about this? I'm trying to send him money and he won't respond. So then Keith Lee responds that he got a hold of Justin and that he was cutting the rapper Future's hair. So then she sent them over the payment. So there's the $300 she sent to the barber. So then she sends over a proof of the event flyer for Keith Lee to confirm. And he says it looks great. So then the day of the event yesterday, what's going on? Hey, are you coming? Yeah, I am. Uh, where the people supposed to be doing hair? He said they are with me. Plane landed an hour ago. What's the ETA? No response. Whole time these messages getting sent, free food was given away. I thought the barbs in the beehive was bad. The Keith Leets are the worst. Basically, the son reached out to Keith Lee, said, hey, man, can you come back and help us, you know, a second time around? Uh, mother's, you know, the food truck still struggling, whatever. All this transpired since you left. Can you can you come down? So here's where either the line starts or the scamming starts. We don't know what's was what. But and, but honestly, I don't think this has anything to do with Keith Lee. This is just somebody taking advantage. Um, so apparently the fake Keith Lee or whoever this is behind this pay said, yeah, you know what? We can come down, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm out of town. Uh, I can be there. So and so date. But, you know, I'm going to bring a barber. We're going to pretty much set it up like we did last time. And then once we get everything set up, whatever, can you please give the barber seven hundred dollars to, to, to cut hair? Uh, and he was saying like, Hey, can you give me that up front? Uh, the mom responded, you know, I don't have the money up front, but I can give it to you after the event, which they agreed upon. And then this is where we are going into this video. So on Friday, she sent Keith Lee an email on Sunday night. She got this message. It said, hello, on behalf of Keith Lee and the family, we would like to offer a new visit to your food truck. This could help rebuild your food truck. We also would like to bring the parties of the last incident together to rectify the issue in hopes to change the narrative. We should stick together as black people. My mom said, I will do anything. They respond first, let's say today, I'll actually stay for a few hours, but this needs to be handled with care. We don't want everybody posting videos before I'm there to protect my family. We can start live streaming once the event is started to protect my family. I don't want advanced promotion, meaning I don't want people to know I'm coming. Is that okay? What day works for you? And my mom responds, I promise no one will know. And I have a new location downtown Garland. I will have to call tomorrow to see if I can still get the spot. They respond, okay, let's confirm a date and time. Next, I want to bring in a barber and hairstylist and I will foot the bill to give out free food for at least three hours. Can you contribute towards paying the barber and I will pay for the food for three hours and the hairstylist. I got a barber and a hairstylist in mind. I just want to know can you at least contribute towards paying the barber he's a pretty reasonable guy he does events for seven hundred dollars she responds i can pay after the event will that be fine because i honestly have nothing right now and he was like yes perfectly that will work so then my mom says i should be texting you tomorrow and thank you so much for the opportunity i promise i won't let you down so i believe in you good night they respond with more details and then he sends over the barber's information so the barber wasn't really responding so she contacted him to let him know like you know, like, what you want me to do about this? I'm trying to send him money and he won't respond. So then Keith Lee responds that he got a hold of Justin and that he was cutting the rapper Future's hair. 
So then she sent them over the payment. So there's the $300 she sent to the barber. So then she sends over a proof of the event flyer for Keith Lee to confirm. And he says it looks great. So then the day of the event yesterday, what's going on? Hey, are you coming? Yeah, I am. Uh, where the people supposed to be doing hair? He said they are with me. Plane landed an hour ago. What's the ETA? No response. Whole time these messages getting sent, free food was given away. I thought the barbs and the beehive was bad. The Keith Leaks are the worst. So as you can see in the, isn't that last video, that apparently uh, they you know they finally or the son noticed that. One, the email didn't make any sense. When you have long emails or you see long emails like that, 99% of the time, that's a scam or that's somebody behind a, a fake account or fake email, fake whatever. When you see no one in their right mind, no normal human being is going to have an email address that looks like that. So somehow the fake Keith Lee got them to go ahead and send or got the mother to go ahead and send her, send him a $300 deposit. Uh, they st again, they still thought this was the legit Keith Lee because it said that, hey, I'm in Chicago, the plane was landing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So they, you know, whoever it is is doing a good job persuading them that he is a Keith Lee or whoever he's trying to be. But then things take another turn. So this is the sign she had made that says grand reopening. Um, I actually took this video the day of the event when it just started. There were only a few people there eating. Uh, there was music playing. It was actually pretty nice. If anybody's looking for a place to park a food truck, um, this venue is pretty nice. It holds about like six different food trucks, but typically there's only like two or three there at a time, so you don't have a lot of competition. But yeah, this event actually happened, and she stayed there all day. So there's no GoFundMe. There's no cash app posted above my head or anything. Like I'm not panhandling and asking you for anything. The only thing I want y'all to do is leave my mom alone. I don't think that's too much to ask for. And those of you in the comments who are sending well wishes and being concerned, and I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. My mom is okay. I would love for her to give y'all an update, but she's not going to return to the camera ever. I'm never going to have her in front of the camera again just for her safety and well-being. But I'll let y'all know that she's doing, she's doing okay. Um, she's going to take a mental health day to herself. But she's good. Thank y'all for caring. Um, I'm going to go worry about my mental health as well because this entire ordeal has taken a toll on me. Um, if another creator want to try to dissect and figure out who's responsible for this, I would greatly appreciate it. I, I don't have the mental capacity right now to even focus on it. I got to worry about myself. He, you know, the mom set up. She was out there all day. Set up for the event. Of course, Keith Lee didn't show up. Uh, the son doesn't go into the details saying whether or not anyone showed up. You know, he kind of went kind of sideways where he started talking about the place where she set up at was, is a pretty decent place where there's low competition. But that's beside the point. So people are saying, you know, they don't know if it's if this is legit, if he's making this up. Uh, of course, no one's heard from Keith Lee. No one's heard from anyone from his camp. So. Only thing we've heard from is the son and we've, you know, everything that's coming from his mouth. But to me, there, there's tons of red flags that they could have avoided um, to to even get in this, this position. For one, Keith Lee is well off. There's no reason why he would be asking you to give him a deposit or pay any money to have him show up and then have a barber on site to cut free hair and need a deposit. I mean, he gave him $4,000 right off the rip. So why would he need $700 to fly in town? Then two, the email account, the, that as you saw on the iCloud messages or whatever it was, you can tell, you know, that was fake. So, I mean, the only thing I can say is, you know, hopefully it's, he's not lying. Hopefully they're not lying. And, and this actually was a person scamming, which it seems to be. But, you know, people in the comments was tearing, tearing him apart, you know, so they was like, hey, you know, or is this another scam? Because they, you know, they already started off on a bad foot with with the mom not giving the money. So then people went to back to TikTok and they he, you know, they voiced their opinions. And then he came out with another another video. 101 South 6th Street, get y'all some free food. If y'all 
can't come if you know anybody in Garland who's even near North Dallas, um, Richardson, Plano, Addison area. Tell them come on by. It's probably like a 15 minute drive. Get some free food. Um, come say hi. Support a black business. We building black owned businesses, okay? That's what we we're not tearing them down 2024. We're building them up. And we clapping for everybody along the way, cause you know why? <laughs> you may just be next. So this footage is from the day of the event. Um I went live, it was like hundreds of people watching. Can y'all shut up? This is why I add music to my video, so y'all don't hear all the background noise, but you know, they they called the sun out saying, Hey, if this event happened, where's the crowd at? They you know, they went as far as saying, hey, there's certain stuff missing from your appearance that was in the video. I don't know, man. Who, I mean, you you can't be mad at the people feeling like this because of what happened previously, you know, with the first interaction. So hopefully, you know, they're not, you know, he's not he's not making this story up and it's legit. Um, if it is, man, it's, only thing I can say, sorry that, you know, that happened to your mother. You know, I hope she hopefully she uh, overcomes whatever she's dealing with and, you know, and she see through a, a better path. No one wants to see her. No one wants to see anyone suffering like that at all, regardless of what they did in their past. And, you know, hopefully her her business flourish again at some point in time. And, you know, it takes take off from there. I'll be curious, though, to hear if Keith Lee or I'll be curious to see if Keith Lee uh response to this whole situation just just to get his input on it like i said i'm almost 99 percent sure that he doesn't have anything to do with this you know it, there's too many red flags but anyway if you enjoyed this content uh please click that subscribe button uh leave any comments because i'm curious what you guys think you know if you guys think whether if it's legit or if it's you know a scam whatever leave your comments in the in a in a, in a bottom uh hit the subscribe button Turn your post notifications on. Share the video. Until the next time, see you in the next one. Peace.